Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we are going to check out the Lawton LS208 and 308 microphones. So for, I don't know, I think it's over a year now, I have been using a couple of microphones from Lawton Audio on my guitar cabs when I get to play with microphones and move them around on an actual speaker cab. I generally choose some form of combination of the Lawton LS208 and 308 condenser microphones. Sometimes I'll mix them with other microphones, sometimes I will use them together, but I wanted to make a video to kind of show what they can do and just to kind of talk about them a little bit because I don't think a lot of people really know the secret sauce that is these microphones. Now, before we go any further, a little disclosure, Lawton Audio uh, sent me these microphones over a year ago and I never really made a video about them. Uh, they sent them to me because A, they're very, very nice people, um, but I'm making this video because I just really like these microphones and I am not being paid to do so. I just really dig them and wanted to share. So while the LS208 and the 308 do share similar features, especially in the, uh, the low pass and high pass switches that are right on the microphone housings, they do sound pretty different from each other, and I'm going to start with the LS-208. Now, the LS-208 is a front address pressure gradient FET condenser, and this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. This is suitable for all sorts of different applications, and like I said before, there is a low pass and high pass filter switches right on the body. These are very, very handy depending on what you're using it for. So with uh, something like a vocal, I would actually not have these engaged at all, but for a guitar, for example, I would actually have the high pass engaged at about 50 Hertz and the low pass around probably 10 K. Cause there's a difference between uh, 8 K and 10 K. I want to give myself a lot to work with. However, typically on a guitar situation, for example, I'm not using uh, anything above 10 K anyway. So I would just put that into the 10 K switch and off I go. Now the frequency response of the LS-208 is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And honestly, this is a very flat sounding condenser microphone with a little bit of sprinkled uh, goodness up in the top end, nothing drastic, but this sounds fantastic on a guitar. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with a 308 and I'm gonna toss this in front of my Mesa Boogie Vertical 212. I'm gonna show you how it sounds right now. Now, if the LS-208 would be a bright, cheerful sibling, the LS-308 is its older, maybe uh, slightly dark-haired, more depressed sibling. I don't know. That really doesn't make any sense. However, the LS-308 is darker than the 208, but with the design, it is really focused on extreme isolation, especially for something like a live application. This uh, 308 is good on a drum kit, guitar cab, anything loud, anything where there's lots of noise around, the 308 is gonna reject it like crazy. And the trade-off for that design is it sounds very dark. It almost sounds like a ribbon, which is really, really awesome. This is a nice, smooth, yet flat sounding condenser microphone. Side address, not end address, like the 208, but the 308, for me, it has, it just has that really huge body that I often use when I'm using it with something like an SM57, for example. <laughs>
let's talk about polar patterns a little bit. The uh, LS208 is a standard cardioid polar pattern, whereas the LS308 is a second order cardioid pickup pattern. Uh, this is a very, very tight microphone. It is laser precise, whereas the LS208, you can absolutely use this for a lot more things and not have to be as precise. This is also a great broadcast microphone and also good on things like acoustic guitars. And finally, the LS208 retails for about 600 bucks and the 308 retails for about 500 bucks. You can't go wrong with either one of these. If you're looking for a versatile all arounder, I would definitely go with the 208. However, if you are in a live situation, touring situation, or any kind of environment where there's a lot of noise going on, definitely reach for the 308. Either one of these is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna play well with all of the other microphones and these have been a joy to have in my mic locker and I use them all over the place. Most recently, uh, I used the 308, believe it or not, on acoustic guitar for my band, uh, Drag Dunders this holiday. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more about all things Lawton Audio. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you want to further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something, and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.